it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time ever seeing my face then hello nice to meet you and welcome and if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while then you probably know that this is the first video I've posted in like three months and there's a few reasons why that happened but I'll actually explain that in a completely separate video but if you guys have any specific questions for me or anything you want me to answer then comment those down in this video and I will answer them in that video but with that out of the way we can move on to this video which is me redoing my room I am a college student who's trying to save money so I definitely tried to get all this done with the least amount of money possible probably ended up spending somewhere around three or four hundred dollars which isn't bad considering my whole room is redone and it looks pretty awesome so before I keep blabbering on too much let's just get into this video so before I get started with the recreation of my room I just wanted to show you what it was like before and if you've seen any of my videos before you might recognize some of this that giant red tree in the corner I painted when I was like 13 in one of my first videos and I did like a tumbler wall DIY but it just feels like a lot younger version of me and I just kind of wanted to update it a little bit and hopefully make it a little more clean minimalistic and just kind of more my style so the very first thing I had to do was take down all the stuff on my wall and you will not believe how many holes I have punched into my wall for all these DIYs, it's ridiculous. So after everything's off of my wall, I'm going around my entire room and covering up all the holes that I have put into my wall. Once that's dry, I'm painting over my entire room with the same exact color white, especially that tree, painting over that whole thing white. I worked a long time on that. But it's time for something new and a fresh start, so it's a blank canvas. One thing I did want to do is paint about the bottom third of one of the main walls in my room, just kind of a light gray to give my room a little bit of contrast. So I taped over where I wanted that and to get a clean line, I actually painted white on top of the tape and wall first, let that dry, and then I painted the gray on top of that. And a really awesome hack you can use is for if you're just painting only a part of your wall, instead of buying one of those giant paint buckets to paint, you can just ask for a sample size, which is literally five bucks, and it had the perfect amount to paint a little more than a third of my wall. Once that's done, I just had my dad help me set up a floating shelf above my desk area, so I can eventually start putting stuff on top of that. I also got this pretty cool cube storage unit from Amazon for like 30 bucks, and it came with these storage baskets that you see in it, which are pretty cool and all, but I think I can make them a little cooler. So all I'm gonna do is add a little rope as the handles instead of that kind of tacky metal circle thing. So I'm just flipping the baskets around so that the metal circle is in the back because nobody's going to see that anyway. And then using an X-Acto knife or a razor or some scissors or all three, I'm just punching two holes where I want the handle to come out. And please be careful with this part. To get the rope through the holes, I'm just taping either side with some packaging tape and that just makes it stiff so you can poke it through. Then once you get it where you like it, just tie a knot on either end and you can trim off the excess. Then I'm sealing off the inside with some E6000 glue just to make sure it stays. So you totally can leave it just like that, which is what I almost did, but I decided to add a little trim of rope around the edges, and in the process of testing out which size rope or hemp I wanted to use, I ended up ripping the fabric on the basket, so uh, make sure you don't do this, but I'll show you how I covered it up and made it look cute in a second. <laughs> For the ones that I didn't rip, I just used some thick hemp twine, and I'm using some hot glue, and just gluing it all around the edges, and I think this really just kind of completes the look of the basket. And now for the basket that I ripped, I'm just gonna take some extra gray fabric that I found laying around, and I'm using this along with some pink ribbon to geometrically cover up the rip, but still make it look cool. And to hide the edges on the side, I'm using the same thick hemp twine as the border. And this storage basket actually came out really cute. I was surprised. I'm kind of glad that I ripped it because I like the way it looks better. All right, so moving on, I decided to go thrift shopping the next day. And I found this amazing giant Marilyn Monroe canvas and it was like 350, so I had to pick it up. And I was debating just keeping it because I think it would look kind of cool in my room, but that wasn't the DIY that I wanted to do. So as much as it pained me, I painted it over in white. I just set that to dry 
dry and I'll show you what I'm doing with that in a second. Another cool find that I found at the thrift store was this like genie in a bottle looking vase kind of thing. And well first of all it was super dirty. It literally had spider webs in the inside of it and like a dead spider that I had to shake out. But I cleaned it up and I used a little bit of silver shine cream which made it super shiny which I loved but I didn't clean off all of the spots right away because I still wanted a little bit of an antique look which I think this totally did. And I just used that to put some fake plants inside. Alright, so moving back to that Marilyn Monroe poster. So basically, I'm going to be making a neon sign. And if you haven't heard of those, it's basically you can make whatever you want in this EL wire. So I decided to write the word breathe. And to do this, I'm laying out a giant piece of paper over the canvas and sketching out where I want the word. Once I have it all marked, I'm going to figure out where I want the EL wire to go into the canvas where you can't see it from behind and where I want it to kind of poke out. So basically at each of the corners of all the letters or anywhere that's a really sharp curve that I can't really bend with the EL wire, you're gonna wanna just kind of poke that inside and figure out a different place to poke it back up through the canvas. So I'm just stabbing my scissors through the canvas to make the holes that I need to make. But once you get the holes in, that'll give you an outline for when you take your sketch off of the canvas. I I also used my pencil to write really really hard over the letters so that when I took the paper off you can kind of see a little indent and that'll give me a guideline for where I'm gonna put the EL wire. If it helps you can lightly write it out in pencil too. So the next step is basically just putting your EL wire where you want it and hot gluing down certain sections so that it stays, especially for any of the curved sections. So I just repeated this whole process until I finished and got it the way that I liked it and then I just glued down the extra extra EO wire to the back of the canvas so that it wouldn't be seen. And for some of the holes that didn't come out as clean as I wanted them to, I'm actually going to use toothpaste to kind of cover the holes and this actually works really well. And to finish it off, I'm just using a black watercolored pencil and I'm kind of making a gradient effect with this. So once I got this gradient effect that I liked, I just added some water on top of it and did some kind of nice little clean brush strokes and I wanted a kind of rustic gradient effect so I didn't go over it too many times that it made it look smooth but that you could still see all the brush strokes and a few of the pencil lines and I really liked the way it turned out and when you light it up it just looks magical <laughs> Okay, so moving on to my headboard, I actually wanted to make one completely from scratch. So I got some wood from Home Depot, and I'm just nailing the wood in side by side to each of the two planks on either side of the bed frame. And then right when I thought I was done, of course, I messed up the measurements and I got the measurements wrong. So I had to end up adding an extra piece of wood to either side of the bed frame, as you can see. I wasn't originally going to do that, but I liked the way it ended up anyway. And for the two pieces of wood that were supposed to go on either either side of my bed I had to end up cutting those off as well because the measurements didn't fit so it ended up a little bit different but I still really like the way it turned out and I didn't actually film this part but I also stained the wood a little bit just so it would match the other wood in my room and then for my last DIY I just printed out some pictures in black and white in a Polaroid style and I used some hemp twine and double-sided tape to tape them together to each piece of the hemp twine. And this just kind of makes like a dangly picture kind of look that I taped underneath my hanging shelf. This is a pretty easy and self-explanatory DIY, but I think it really puts my whole room together. And I love the way the black and white works with my whole room. So those are all the statement DIYs that I did in my room. But I also got a few little things, like I had these fake succulent plants I found on Amazon and this cute little candle from Urban. My brush holder was actually a Bath & Body Works candle that I wrapped some twine around. And for the basket behind, I actually put a pillowcase inside so you couldn't see exactly what I put in it and it makes it look a whole lot cleaner. For my desk, I added some marble contact paper which is actually super cheap and makes my desk look so much nicer. And for the hanging shelf above my desk, I just kind of moved around some of the other DIYs I had in my room. I had some little fake plants and a candle, some perfume, a gold rose, and a couple of the DIYs that I had on my tumbler wall before. For my bed, I just got some fairy lights from Amazon and strung those through. I also found some throw pillows for pretty cheap at Ross, and I found this super cute pink comforter from Amazon. For this cube unit, I stored some shoes in there to use as storage and also room decor. 
and I put a few other things just on top like the plant, my YouTube plaque, and a couple things I found at the thrift store that looked pretty nice that I could store my jewelry in. I got my laundry basket at Ross and I found these gray matching curtains from Amazon that go in my window and my closet. And for this giant clock, I found it on Amazon. It was actually black but I just spray painted each of the numbers gold and I really like the way it turned out. And lastly, I got this throw blanket at Ross, and I think that completes my room. So that was my video for you today and I hope you enjoyed. I worked pretty hard on my room but I'm very very happy with the way it turned out. Anyway, if you guys redo your room or if you take anything from my video's inspiration, then let me know in the comments down below or snapchat me or tweet me or send me a, something on Instagram, whatever you want to do and I love reading those and responding to you guys. Also don't forget if you have any questions to ask me, comment them down below and I'll answer them in my next video. And if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. You can also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all later. Bye!